Prism. Very happy to see all of you here this evening. Some familiar faces, some new faces. Some of our, uh, I think a couple of our speakers last year also here, so very happy uh, to be back. I wish more uh, people would come. I hope some more people would come. Uh, last year, when we started uh, the Prism series, uh, with a general theme in development in India, we had 15 remarkable scholars speaking about fields varying from economy to literature, the arts to public health, so a, a variety of speakers. One thing that emerged from that series is when we are looking at development in these fields, you know, how we are progressing in each other's field. Our own intention in creating this platform was to see how there can be, a, how a horizontal kind of platform can be built so that different disciplines, different people can come together and think about the, the idea of development in a little more uh, uh, comprehensively. That was why this, uh, this series was conceptualized. Uh, but once the series was over and we reviewed the, the lectures, we found that one common thing that all the speakers pointed out is that there is a problem about, the, there is a lack of inclusiveness when you're looking about, when you're thinking about development in each of these fields. Uh, it, there is also, there are also discontinuities in these areas. Sometimes, the planning and execution of uh, uh, the processes are arbitrary. So uh, when we arrived at this critique of uh, the concept of development, models of development that we have, we thought that there has to be some way out, like you know, critiquing itself is not enough. You have to move forward and figure out uh, how do we negotiate this. We thought the, question, the, the basic question that we needed to address was that of governance, management of knowledge systems, etc. So one of our speakers, uh, Professor G.N. Devi, last year, uh, I had a conversation with him and he suggested that it, it, it may be a good idea to look at some areas which have survived, you know, uh, sustained themselves, the survived, uh, uh, over a period of time they have survived and to look at how they have coped, how they have uh, negotiated uh, problems, crisis. So this series uh, stemmed from that initial conversation. I thank uh, Professor G. N. Devi for that initial spark. You know. uh, that was the beginning. And then we started looking at this. We thought there has to be, a, if, in order to have a balance of uh, ideas, balance of understanding of our times. We also need to really look at not just uh, discontinuities and you know, we, it's not just enough to critique and say that things are bad. Even the media, like you look at uh, the media spaces and uh, you get a feeling that things are so very bad. There are uh, areas, there are fields in this, uh, in our country have been continuous. There are ordinary people who have been trying to uh, survive, you know, go through uh, various struggles in order to survive. So we thought it is very important to look at these practices, bring them together in a platform, I mean, on, a, on a platform, within a frame, and see, uh, and make a statement, perhaps, towards uh, understanding uh, development as as an organic process, something which we have to look at our, in our own space and figure out clues for uh, creating an organic model of governance, of management of knowledge systems. That is how this series has come about. This year we have 14 speakers. Most, uh, all of them, almost all of them are practitioners. They are not just scholars, they are practitioners. Um, so uh, we, we, we are, uh, if you are